Evaluate the integral of the square root of 9 minus x squared, all divided by x squared dx, using trigonometric substitution. We'll use the substitution x equals 3 sine theta, which means dx equals 3 cosine theta d theta. Now, we substitute these into the integral. First, we will simplify the square root of 9 minus x squared by plugging in 3 sine theta. We can now substitute all these parts into the integral. Let's simplify this. 3 cosine theta times 3 cosine theta is 9 cosine squared theta, and 3 sine theta squared is 9 sine squared theta. We can use the trigonometric identity cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta minus 1. Substituting this identity into our integral, we get the integral of cosecant squared theta minus 1 d theta. This integral can be separated into two integrals. The integral of cosecant squared theta d theta minus the integral of 1 d theta. Now we can evaluate each part. The integral of cosecant squared theta d theta is negative cotangent theta, and the integral of 1 d theta is theta, so the integral becomes negative cotangent theta minus theta plus c, where c is our constant of integration. Now to convert back to x using our original substitution, x equals 3 sine theta, which gives us sine theta equals x over 3. This implies theta equals arcsine of x over 3. To figure out cotangent of theta, we can set up a triangle or use the identity that cotangent of theta is 1 over tangent theta or cosine theta over sine theta. From the identity, cosine theta equals the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta, which in our case is the square root of 1 minus x over 3 squared, which simplifies to the square root of 9 minus x squared over 3. Plugging cosine theta and sine theta into our cotangent equation, we get cotangent theta equals square root of 9 minus x squared over x. Finally, we substitute the expressions for cotangent theta and theta back into our integral to get our final result.